Ray. Thanks for joining. Um, so I just did this really, really nice big pour. I really like it. Um, so I made it more of the same colors. I'm going to pour over um, two, um, two canvases um, that I will, I mean, the design on them is great, but it's nothing that I would ever use. So I'm going to just pour over them. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to go over the colors again, even though um, they'll be in um, the other video. Um, but I'm going to go over them because I think people like to know the colors when they watch a video. And they may not always see the first video. So, so anyway, I made up a cup and a half of black. The first cup is, this one has um, Lamp Black, which is Montmart, and I'm, it's gone. I'm going to tip it upside down for a while and see if any more. Anyway, so that's in this cup. And then the other cup is the um, Bardis Loft Flow Acrylic Black. Um, and I, this one's gone too, so I'm pretty much out of black as far as for doing puddles. Um, so I got like a half a cup of the Artist Loft. Um, the median for this is 70% Floetrol, 30% Liquitex, pouring medium. So when I mix up a cup, so I mixed up a cup of the median, this red Solo cup, I did 120 grams of this, which is basically four times 30, since I'm doing 30%, right? Or thir yeah, 30%. So I did 120, and then that meant I needed to take the 70 and multiply it by four. So I got 280, so then 280 of the Floetrol, and that's a pretty good amount to fit in this Solo Cup, and I actually had to make up a couple batches. I have just a little left. Anyway, um, so I mixed that up in advance, and um, that is my, this is gonna be my puddle. I also have a little bit of leftover from the last one. And I'll use this to layer a little bit in my um, in my cup when I pour my cup. So then I have, this is Arteza Bordeaux Red. So this is uh, one of my favorites. I keep using it, but I like it. So why not, right? Um, the next color is Venetian Rose. This is Amsterdam. The last one I did, it was a mix that had like a, unbleached like beige color and then I had added in just a little yellow and a little red and a little brown and it ended up looking pink I actually have a little of that one left it's this one's a little lighter but I didn't have anything to make more of this so I just used my Venetian rose because it was kind of a pinky color anyway so um and then I have Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24K Gold. This bottle is empty, so I'm gonna throw it away. Um, so I always use, always like this metallic. So let's see, I'm trying to find spots for all these colors. I've still got some wet paint on my canvas and it's been a couple days actually. So this is Extreme Sheen by Deco Art. This is Sapphire and it's just a really pretty um, metallic blue like that one and I'll start piling stuff over here now um, I have my um, Amsterdam Prussian blue phthalo very dark deep kind of a dark dark deep navy blue um, another favorite color actually a lot of these are favorites so you know they work well together I think so we're gonna go with that this one is Amsterdam's greenish blue. What did I do with that? Did I put it over here? I don't know where I put it. I thought I had the greenish blue tube sitting here, but I must have tossed it somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, it's the greenish blue and um, it kind of has a dark turquoise look to it. So that one's good. Then I have a little bit of yellow left. I need to stir this one up. I don't know which shade of yellow this is exactly. Um, and I think it just might be like a bright yellow, but I'm not sure. So it is very bright. Um, so if you're trying to match the color, I would 
definitely, um, I don't think you can go wrong like with any shade of yellow and I'm just gonna use a little, so I don't think that one's gonna be, be too big of a deal. Um, this is my leftover white. Oops. And this one is a mix of the white pearl from DecoArt. Um, I didn't mix up any more. I think I have enough of it. And then I also put a little satin enamel. I think it's about four parts of the pearl white to one part of the DecoArt satin enamel. And that's to just help with um, some cells or clouds. And I'm going to layer it a little bit here and there, but not. I'm not going to use a lot of it. So I'm going to leave that one over there. Um, let's see. Then I have, this is um, Treasure Gold from Folk Art, and it's Fire Opal. And it's kind of a kind of a cross between a dark rose and a copper. And it's a real pretty shade. And the next one is a mix. Um, I've used this mix in several pours and um, it's what I use. I had some leftover that I used in my last one. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I made up some more. This is Caput Mortem Violet from Amsterdam. So I did about 50% of, of the paint is this and then 50% is made up of half this and half this. And this is DecoArt Rose Quartz Extreme Sheen and then DecoArt Americana Enchanted which it says iridescent top coat acrylic and the color is violet. So it's an iridescent, um, but it looks kind of white in the container. So that one's, that one's a mix and um, it's kind of similar to the um, Fire Opal. I mean, they're, they're not the same, but there's a little bit of similarity there. Um, Okay, um, that's all the colors. I'm gonna bring the camera down so you guys can see better and um, we'll get started. I have to figure out what exactly I'm gonna do, but we'll figure it out. We'll be right back. Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna put gloves on and an apron because I don't know. Gloves, I use the gloves when I use the Liquitex because Liquitex is pretty sticky. So the Liquitex pouring medium to me makes the paint stick to my skin more. It's harder to wash off. So um, I'm gonna, gonna use that. So these are the canvases I'm pouring over. Um, they were kind of a matching pair they were, um, I copied um, a pour from another artist on YouTube and um, the video for them are, I believe is posted um, on my channel if you wanna watch it. Um, I actually didn't have quite enough paint. Um, it was, I was really, I didn't put enough down on the base and so there's like some areas that are kind of thin and um, the colors are, I mean, it's a cool, it's a cool thing. It just, the colors aren't really ones that I would necessarily have in my decor. So yeah. So anyway, I'm going to use these smaller cups that I usually, that I normally do. And I think I'm going to do four cups. Um, and I'm going to do two on each canvas. And I think I kind of want them to intermingle a little across the middle, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that well. So let me figure out the color, the color comp, like the order that I want here. Um, I've got all these colors. So I do like it when I do thick layers and don't repeat my layers over and over and over again. I like the um, the way the color kind of evolves going out and it's just not a repetition. So that's just something I've been kind of enjoying lately. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I think I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna pour this to flood the canvas first, the black, um, just to make sure I've got this good and covered, this other one. Um, anyway. So what I've been doing lately is I've been 
starting my pour with the darks. So maybe like these blue colors. Um, and then I've been moving on to, let's see, I think I'm gonna put the darkest in the middle. Um, and then I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do gold. Whoa, spilled my yellow. Sorry, it stuck to the canvas. That was my bad, okay. I think I'm gonna do the gold and yellow and white. I'm not sure what order. Might mix it up a little. Let's see if I can. And I might. Uh, so this will kind of create. Um, depending on, I don't know, like how this is gonna stretch out. Um, the last one I did ended up. Um, you don't really have a center. It kind of. It was two cups and. Um, they were both stretched off the canvas in both directions. And um, anyway, then I'm gonna probably move on to the reds, the pink in there somewhere. Um, so, and then I'm gonna come back and do the blues again at the end. And I'll probably intermix gold a little bit in there. These cups aren't that big, so I just have to kind of figure out how much to put in each cup. That's gonna be the tricky part. Okay. Um, this one, they all kind of feel a little thick, but I'm gonna do a little bit of this in each cup. It's harder when you have multiple cups because you have to make sure your paint lasts for all of them and you know, especially when I'm going to do the blue again at the end, so.
I'm good. Sorry these are not clear cups, but hopefully you'll be able to see those a little bit. The only one I didn't use up was the yellow. Yeah, when I mix up yellow, it usually lasts me for many, many uh, pours because yellow can have a tendency to take over and so I don't use much of it, but I do like it. Okay, I'm gonna move these out of the way just so I can um, flood the flood the canvas. Let's see. Okay, so this is my Montmart mix. And oops, I'm gonna get my stick. And I kind of just wanna Okay, and this is so I'm gonna get my gloves a little messy here. Um Spots. Okay, I want to separate these just a little. I'm gonna kind of like just kind of my goal, like the middle's for sure gonna get covered because I've got more puddle and I've got um, obviously all the colors in the cups, so I'm not too worried about that, but. Um, yellow kind of going on here. Okay, now we're... The other reason um, I'm redoing this, these old canvases is they are like the really nice uh, gallery wrapped level three canvases. And, um, you know, those are expensive. And, you know, if you're gonna use them and you don't like what you end up with, so much, you know, it's kind of a waste to just let them sit in the corner. So that's another reason. Okay, I think I've got those nice and covered and I'm gonna put on some fresh gloves. Pop some bubbles, just see a few things. decide how I want to do this. I want to do all four together and try and I don't think I'm going to be able to tilt them together but it'd be really cool if I could get one to kind of go over on the other but I don't know if that's going to work out. It's probably not a problem though if it doesn't. Um, okay so I think I'm going to do puddle, 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 puddle. So I'm gonna, I might work with them independently. I'll see how hard it is other than that. So um, I have, I'm gonna go ahead and use what's left of the, this is the Montmart. Oops, I did not follow what I said I was gonna do. See how I see how that is? Okay. So I'm gonna slide this over because I wanted it a little bit more here. That one too, just a little bit more there. Okay. I'll go this way with this one. I think this is gonna be kind of hard to do anyway. Just 
Okay. Move my stick over. Trying to decide, should I do a ring? Just a ring pour, a straight pour, maybe a traveling pour. And let's see, I'm gonna push these together. It's still gonna go down in the crack, but um, I think that's okay. I think I'm gonna do just a little bit to create a little motion, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna try. So I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna so right now I'm doing a little bit of a ring pour. Now I'm gonna turn it into a little more of a jiggle pour. I want to save a little paint because I want to wow I like that I like this this whole ribbon thing it's kind of got me intrigued lately so so this one I'm gonna do something similar my left hand and it doesn't work as well but I am gonna now I'm jiggling it Did a straight pour now into a ring pour, and now a jiggle pour. A little bit of a traveling pour. as much of a ribbon there. Okay, one more. This is kind of fun. Um, thinking I'm gonna have to work with these individually so let's see I'm gonna put some more gloves on these um, these little stripes that I did the ribbons um, are creating some really cool cells so 
me see if I can come on a little more over here. I don't think it's gonna. Okay, so I just use the lip of the cup on that. Okay. Let me maybe tilt them together for a minute. I don't think that's going to work though, is it? Stick into my sticks. Okay. I'm gonna, before I get too far into that, I'm gonna use up my black that I have in this cup to. around these. I'm going to separate them and just work on them that way. Maybe it's not pouring on the other one unintentionally. Weird. This doesn't look like the other one I did at all, but it's like the same color, so it's a little crazy. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, let's see about doing this one. Um, I'm going to tilt it towards me first. Sorry. it because that's what I typically do. Always, uh, okay. Got black across the front there. That's not good. I'm not sure what I did there, but Close to like snatch it up a little. If I can, my hand is covered, and that's where I'm gonna mess something up here. Okay, I'm 
dripping on my canvas. Not good. Oh, dang it. Okay. I'm going to tip that side off and fix lightly. Okay, fix that one. And this one, I'm going to. Okay, like it. Um, um, so using a stick. It's awesome. Okay, guys, this one doesn't go at all with the piece that I was working on to kind of match it with, but um, it, it's really, really cool. Um, I wanna put a little bit of a ribbon through the middle of the black because I feel like this one's a little bit too purposeful, I guess. A little more randomized. And while we're going, I'm going to continue this. Oh, nice. Okay. I want to tilt that just slightly, but probably shouldn't, so... Oh, I have another spot there. Okay, so we will that got rid of that black spot. So yeah, I just had a dribble there. And um, I think that works. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I really like these. Um, can't wait to bring you guys down. There's so many things going on here. So many things. closer together so when I bring you down you'll be able to oh without ruining them that would be good um cool um nice okay I will be right back okay guys here's the close-up so many different things going on here but so cool. So there's the whole effect. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments and I am so happy that you came and watched my video and um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and we will see you next time. Bye.